Hello guys and welcome to a new video. So I'm just capturing this video directly after I did the previous one when we did the automatic roast on the Skywalker roaster. So right now I'm going to do the assisted roast. So I'm going to use the second mode of it, which is the assisted mode. It's basically the same thing like we did in the previous video. We just ha we have to select one of the profiles according to the bean we're selecting to roast. So according to the bean, well, I have this bean right now. It's called Guji. It's also an, Eth an Ethiopian bean, but this one is a dynamic six days uh, anaerobic fermentation. So I have to give it a lighter color to get it into a filter uh, express, I mean a filter uh, roast, it will give a good result when it's filter uh, roasted, okay? So I need a light roast of it, so I don't need to reach that darker color that I reached with the previous roast that gave me around medium light roast. I need it to be a medium roast. So the previous one ended around 190, I believe, yeah, 191. So this one, I need to give it maybe maximum five Celsius after roasting, then I have to end the roast, okay? So, because it is a dynamic uh, uh, barrel uh, process, so I have to select the second one according to the advice of the maker of the roaster. This is not an obligation on anyone using the roaster, but I just I just want to see what is the result that it will give me if I use the recommended profiles. Maybe in the next time I can try to use the first one, the natural profile on these beans, or maybe the third one, which is the uh, wet uh, hulling or honey or pulp natural profile on that bean, okay? But right now I'm going to use the 021, which is the advi advised profile for that kind of bean I'm going to use, okay? So I will have just to select the second profile, which is 021, by clicking on the profile button until I reach 021, which is this one. Then I will click, double click on preheat to start preheating. I believe that profile should preheat until it reaches 220 Celsius. Once it reaches 220 Celsius, it will give me the beep. I will load my beans as I did exactly in the previous roast and then after that according to the manual let's read the manual together in the assisted mode you need to double click double press the p button which is the profile button after you start the roast so when you do that it will write on the screen here on that part of the screen it will write the word ast which is assistant mode or assisted mode sorry so in the assisted mode you will choose the right time to drop your beans. You will choose the right time to end the roast at your convenience. According to the color you see, according to the results you are achieving so far. Okay? So this is the main thing of assisted mode, which is also a good thing because the roaster will do everything for you and you just give it the order to stop at, the, at your convenience. Okay? And of course, when, when it does that, it will not turn into a cooling mode automatically. So you need to also turn on the cooling mode automatically. After, uh, I mean manually after dropping the beans. Let's see that all together in this video together. So I selected the profile. I'll double click the preheat. Then the drum will work. It has to reach 220 Celsius as, it, as you see here. It's at 53 right now. And a golden tip. This is just a golden tip. If you are doing back-to-back -back roasting, or even not, make sure that this door is closed properly. See? Right now it is closed. Because you always keep it open when you drop your beans and you lift it open until the cooling is done. A lot of people will close the drawer and they will forget this one open. If you do that, once you let in your beans, they will all fall from the door. They will not enter the, the drum. This is a golden tip for everyone. Take care, make sure it is closed, pull it towards you, it's not opening because you're lock locking it properly. That's what you need to do, okay? This bean is Ethiopian, it's Guji Shakisu, it's called, it's a heirloom varietal, and it's 1,900 to 2,200 meters above sea level, and it's a dynamic six days uh, anaerobic fermentation. So let's, I, I actually got the, the beans ready, I'll just make sure they are the right weight. I should get 300 grams. That's how the beans look like. They look very nice. A little bit yellowish, I think, due to the processing. Yeah, 300 grams. I have my own created grater that I use it as a bean inlet or a, as a bean hopper to get the beans into the roaster without falling outside. Very simple. 
mod. I think there is also a 3D printed file on the internet for the people who want to get it. It's there on GitHub, I, I believe. I can find the link of it and attach it with this video. And uh, meanwhile, you can also pour your beans using just any scope or anything, but be careful not to let them fall out. I mentioned in, the, in my previous video that they make this hole small because they don't want the heat to escape from it. That's why it's a little bit small. The temperature is 155, 150, 160 almost, yeah. So we're very close. I cleaned the chaff. I took the chaff drawer so it doesn't have any chaff inside. It's a very important tip too because if you leave the chaff inside, maybe there will be some sparks in case there is overflow of chaff. So take care not to have more chaff than, than the, the, the drawer can, can take. This will help you get everything in a very safely manner. The fan is working. No smoke is coming out of the roaster. So towards the 200 degrees, you might see a tiny bit of smoke coming out, maybe because of a, of a chaff or so that was there in the drum. And it can't, it can't bear that heat, so it ends up uh, burning. Very few chaffs that sometimes happen, sometimes, sometimes. So right now it's 209, 211, so it's very close. Let's get ready. Once I hear the beep, I'll turn on the roasting and then I will pour my beans. So that the fan will work. Yeah. Double click the roasting, quickly pour my beans. This shouldn't take more than 10 seconds. Yeah, close. That's it, see? Less than 10 seconds, everything is ready, everything is going on properly. And the roaster started the job. So right now it's at 70, the power is 70, and the fan is 65. I hope it's clear to you. Roasting started, the time is 35 seconds. That's the profile we did. Right now it's still going down. And once the turning point happens, the roasting will be on its way. I hope you can see it clearly. So it's still going down, 139, 138, no smoke is happening, that's a good thing, no smoke is coming out of the roaster, the filter is doing its job very well. It is still at 136 now. Let's see if it will go down more or, or it will be starting to go up, which is the turning point. When it stays for a long time on one degree, yeah, see right now this is the turning point at 136. Then it's now 137. This profile screen here, it will always give you the rate of rise. When there is a rate of rise, it will always show you the rate of rise here. So right now, it's still showing zeros. And I didn't turn on the assisted mode. Now I need to, attend, to turn on the assisted mode. How do I do that? I just need to double click or long click. I think it's a double click, right? Let's see. Double press the P. Yeah. So I just double press the P. Like that. See, AST is written now on the screen. Now the roaster will allow me to drop the beans at my convenient time. When I want to drop the beans at my convenient time, I need to long click the roast button so that I'm telling the heater to stop working. I'm turning off the heating element. 
and I will drop the beans into the, the tray and I will turn on the cooling in order to let the cooling start. I think I'll do that five Celsius after hearing the first crack. Maybe around nine minutes, I would say, or eight minutes and a half. Let's see. So right now the power is 70% and the pan is 65% and we are 3 minutes and a half into roasting. Everything is going well, the beans are moving well inside the drum. They are yellow now. So I think that the first crack will happen around maybe 175, 178, maybe. Let's see. So this is actually a mystery to me because when I use the Cafe Logic roaster, the other roaster that I have, that's PID controlled and connects the computer and all that, uh, usually I get the first crack around 210 Celsius. 215 sometimes, 214, which is very high. And with this roaster, I always get the first crack at 170s or 180 maximum, and then you get into the end of roasting even before reaching 200 Celsius. So I'm, I'm wondering why is that variance is happening. If the same beans, I know the, the, the roasting is different. This is a drum roaster, the other one is a air bed or fluid bed roaster, so it's a different thing, but Still it's the same bean, the same place. Why are the beans reacting differently that way? That's a question I, I have no answer to, honestly. But I believe this is because of conduction is different from convection, I would say. So in, con in induction roasting, the beans are touching the drum, the drum is hot, so they just get the heat from the body of the drum. And when it's convection, the beans are roast, being roasted by the air around them, so maybe there is variance in the temperature of the air. If you compare it to a real hot drum, maybe, maybe. Not sure. We're 170 Celsius now, 6 minutes and 10 seconds. Let's see that the color of the beans started to get brownish. So the first crack should happen soon. I have to listen. It will anyway detect the first crack, but because um, I have to drop the beans on my own settings. Not yet. So the body of the drum is, def uh, the body of the rotor is definitely hot, but not that it will burn you, but not advisable to put the the control board over the drum, over the rope. Okay. Not yet. We're approaching the first crack, 178. Hundred seventy-nine, seven minutes and a half. So because the process is different, this is a barrel process. So definitely the chemical reactions inside the beans are not like when it's definitely treated normally. Now the first crack is happening. I heard the crack. Yeah, it is happening. I will turn off the roaster at 185. Right now it's 182, and I think we're around 
15 seconds of developing. Then seven minutes, I would say, and 55 seconds. Or, or seven minutes and 50 seconds. Now let's close the roasting at 185. Yeah, I'll turn off the, the, the heater like that. And then I click on cooling. And then I will select, I'll quickly take out the beam from the drum. Yeah, that's a light roast. I should select. Now cooling started and roasting is still uh, like flashing, flashing, sorry. I need to. Right now I see that the power is still 50%. It should not be power. The power should be stopped completely. I think I should, uh, let's see the manual, what it says about that. When you turn off, when you use the assistant mode. Okay, drop the beans. Long press the roast to stop heating. Open the exit door to drop the beans. Place the beans. Single press cool to start the bean cooling. Okay. Single press P and choose cool. Let's try that. I see that the cooling, the whole power is still 50%. It should not be any power. But it shows only 50% here, but the lamp is not on. So I think it's just a fake number here. So the heating actually stopped. As you see, the temperature is not rising. It's actually going down. If the heating is, is going on, then even if inside the drum, like we do in the preheating, there should be temperature increase here, but actually it's going down. So I think this is just a fake number here. Yeah. So roasting is not working, only cooling is working, and the beans are being cooled down now. Give them there. Looks nice. Now let's take the beans, let them cool down. Meanwhile, that's how the beans look like. Definitely a light roast. Look very nice. And I will do the same like I did in the previous video. We will do analysis, analyze them by the, the roast vision and see the results. But these beans are very light because they're small in size, the goji beans are small. but it's way lighter. So the previous one was 21. So on that scale of the roast vision, it's from 21 until 25, that's the medium light. If you go for a 20, this is a medium roast. So it was the previous one was 21, this is 25. So if it's a 26, it will be a light roast. So it's very close to be a light roast, honestly. I think it's a good roast. 
it's a good roast, yeah? And in case I want it lighter, I should stop it earlier. So this lasted for around 40 seconds of development, 45 seconds. Maybe a 30 second development will be enough next time. Meanwhile, the roaster is cooling down. The only wonder I have right now is why is the power showing 50% here while the power, the heater is not working. The roaster is now cool from the top, see? It's cool from everywhere. It's definitely cooler than the heating when it was roasting. And the lamp's not working. There's no light inside, so the lamp is the source of the heat. It's not working. The fan is 85%. What if I don't get like the roasting? No, to work. Yeah, I think. So if I turn off the roaster like that and turn it on and then click on the cool profile quickly, it will give me 100% fan and 0% power. That's it. In case I want it to be faster than that in cooling. Just warm. That's how the beans look like, the, the coffee, the ground coffee. Let's crack a bean and see how it looks inside and outside. Let's get a big one. I like to do that test every time to see if the bean is inside and outside is the same color or no. Because it's a little bit lighter, so it's harder to crack. But looks nice. Well developed. I hope it's clear. It smells nice when you crack it. Yeah, very nice. I just like this roaster, honestly. For that money, it's a very good option. Yeah, the beans are cool now. Just let the roaster continue the, the cooling. It should stop at 60 Celsius, 59. This is how the beans look like. Very nice light roast. and very consistent color. I hope it's clear in the camera. And a very good quantity, 250 grams or 255 grams. So that's what anyone would need when you roast coffee for your own self. So guys, this is our second video. So the next one will be doing a manual roast and a manual roast, I will not do a big quantity. I will do a small quantity to challenge the roaster. So I will do 150 grams. And I'll have to be cautious by selecting the right preheat. I'll do 200, I would say 200 Celsius uh, preheat. And let's see the power and the fan together. So that was everything about this video. Thank you so much for watching. You can take it as a reference in case you need to get back to it at any time. I try to show everything together with you in the video. Let's see the chaff. The space is narrow, so forgive me. That's how the chaff looks like in the drawer. A little bit of chaff inside, I'll just clean it with a brush and the roaster will be ready for the next roast. And of course, I don't have to forget to close. This is open now. Make sure it's closed so that when you do your next roast, you don't worry that when you pour in the beans, they will not fall on the ground. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.